Hello folks, welcome to the Crystal Star Ranch. I'm Dr. Ted Kaufman and we are together with Dr. Ted Talks. The aspens are turning, the eagles are nesting, the trout are jumping, and all is well. Today we start with the important topic of the truth as we explore our journey through the book We the truth. Telling the truth and making it right is the first half. Taking responsibilities for the consequences is the second half. Truth, the shortest distance between two points. Let me work to defy the darkness in the world as a candle defies the darkness of the night. Let it define me as an illuminator of truth, not a teacher. The world is a video camera giving us the opportunity to speak our truth. Why is it, you suppose, that almost all fact comes to us through some form of distortion? Let the winds of time and the truth beat against us that we may experience the beauty of our inner canyons. The smallest spark can create the greatest fire. Keep trying. As we eliminate the barriers, we draw all of those things to us that we most desire. What are the barriers? Lying, cheating, stealing, perpetrations, which are little rip-offs. You get too much change back at the cashier and you don't tell her. Or you see someone drop a $10 bill and you put your foot on it. <laughs> Finders, keepers, losers, weepers, until they get out the door and then you pick it up. Those are perpetrations. Undelivered communications, judgment and blame. To free ourselves, we tell the truth, pay the consequences within our ability to do that, and promise not to do it again. Tithing helps with those areas that we just don't remember. The truth is a powerful sign of self-respect and respect of others. We only lie to protect ourselves and others from our fear of the impact of the truth. If success is the shadow and peace is the waving branches of the tree, the truth is the sun. You must either allow truth to drive your bus or truth will be so inclined to respectfully take a hike and allow you another less favored course to your destiny. Cheating, stealing, undelivered communications, perpetrations, judgment and blame, and withholds are all lies. Withholds are those things that you haven't shared that really need to be shared with another. The universe only and always pays liars, liars' wages. Money is not only the measure of success. Bank robbers, forgers, and drug dealers have money. Money alone is not success. The truth is a cool breeze of fresh air in a stifling, aberrant society. Truths are naked thoughts wrapped in subtle clothing, crying out to be heard. At times, the truth looms as large, as frightening, and as deep as Moby Dick. A little humor can sometimes help the truth go down easier. Plagiarism 
though it might be a high compliment to the originator, illuminates the copier as being merely ordinary. Be the truth and you will be king of your universe. Oh, the paradox of the facts colliding with the truth. The truth only hurts if it ought to. Some people have a real problem with the truth. That's a problem with people, not a truth problem. My thoughts, words, and deeds injure no one and benefit everyone. Times will change. Integrity cannot. Our preferences do not mandate correctness. The truth softly spoken would ring loudly in the halls of Congress. To be heard, speak your truth with conviction. Belief in a thing does not make it so, and disbelief is a belief that can also be misleading. The truth is relentless. You can deny it, you can alter it, you can minimize it, and you can try to avoid it. But in the end, there it is. The, tree, the truth is never useless, though at times it may seem so. The truth makes a soft pillow and a good sleeping pill. The truth may take few words, but often great courage. Integrity isn't about luck, it's about discipline. The truth never goes out of date. I am the truth. Just writing that makes me shudder. The truth is what is so, with nothing added or subtracted. Beauty is ageless, truth is timeless, and a truthful beauty is priceless. You meet the most wonderful friends on the path toward truth. Honesty is the best policy, even when there is no money in it. Integrity is more lovely than makeup or perfume. The warrior reminds us the only time we can be courageous is when we are afraid. The truth takes about a minute. The rest is just the story around it. The truth is a fountain of youth for the spirit. Falling in love is too. How do you know the truth? After, you feel like you just had a whole inside shower. The truth is e either bondage if withheld or a catapult if shared. Your call. Whisper the truth and you will move the world more than any shout to the contrary. Theory stands at the lectern only until the truth arrives. The truth shared is unconditional love. And now we move to unconditional love. Unconditional love fills an empty heart quickly and totally. As sunlight is to every tree in the forest, unconditional love is to every soul on the planet. Not even all the paints on a painter's palette or words in the poet's dictionary can capture the essence of love. 
Imagine being a victim who was granted unconditional love for an entire week by someone you liked and admired. Now, imagine you victimizing someone else like that. It all begins with a thought chick. Happiness can be formulated in the convolutions in your brain. I'm sorry. Happiness can't be formulated in the convolutions in your brain. It can only be found in the recessed chambers of your heart. Life, health, happiness, and financial well-being are expanded in the space of unconditional love. When we give unconditional love away, we give a carbon copy, keeping the original for ourselves. The world issues can only be solved with unconditional love and the actions sponsored by that. Let me be a match that lights the fire of unconditional love that sweeps quickly over the world windswept by my kindness, knowing every forest fire begins with a single spark. Your unconditional love may only have a small effect on your external world, but it will rock your internal world. And that's the one that counts most. Unconditional love connects the white sand beaches of our souls as oceans connect the continents. If I had but one wish, I would wish that everyone would consistently experience unconditional love, both incoming and outgoing. Kindness, sponsored by unconditional love, is the warm afternoon sun shining down on the icy patch of fear, distrust, and hate. The pen might be mightier than the sword, but unconditional love is stronger than both. It can destroy all enemies. The human spirit is more powerful than any addiction, and that is sponsored by love. Now, few words on uplifting violence. Wise word from a mother to her son. Violence is a last resort for those who never learned to use their words. We are all mental, but we don't know it. Just stop the violence. To end violence in the streets, we must end violence within ourselves. Who he, he, who he who manages that may not rule, but he will be king. Let's talk about the weather. Tornadoes are reminders to be really thankful for the rest of the weather. <laughs> I've been in two. Meteorologists are not needed to access the weather of the soul. Are you the sky or just the weather? We enjoy ferocious storms because they are rare, beautiful, and powerful. A lone cloud in the sky is not lonely. Rolling thunderheads Hail, flash lightning, and torrential downpour is the sky doing its work. Floods, tornadoes, hurricanes, and global warming is Mother Nature boldly reminding us who we work for. We'll leave you with those thoughts. This is Dr. Ted with Dr. Ted Talks, coming to you from the Crystal Star Ranch. It's time to go feed and water the horses. You have a great day, and thanks for being with us.